TOTP time-based one-time password use in 2FA two factors authentication configure a special authenticator app with the secret provided an authenticator app will generates codes depending on the time that it verify after you have entered your credentials is the second step before you log in U2F Universal Second Factor is an open standard that strengthens and simplifies two-factor authentication (2FA) to securely access any number of online services with one single security key instantly using specialized universal serial bus (USB) or near-field communication (NFC) devices based on similar security technology found in smart cards. HTTPS Everywhere is a free and open source browser extension that encrypts your communications with many major websites, making your browsing more secure for Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Opera, Brave, and Firefox for Android, which is developed collaboratively by the Tor Project and the Electronic Frontier Foundation. Privacy Badger is a free and open source browser extension for Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Opera, and Firefox for Android created by the Electronic Frontier Foundation F. Its purpose is to promote a balanced approach to Internet privacy between consumers and content providers by blocking advertisements and tracking cookies that do not respect the Do Not Track setting in a user's web browser. RFID radio frequency identification, a technology that can be used to pinpoint the physical location of whatever item the tags are embedded in. It can also track people and their activities through their belongings. DM Crypt is a transparent disk encryption subsystem in Linux kernel versions 2.6 and later and in Dragonfly BSD. It is part of the device mapper infrastructure, and uses cryptographic routines from the kernel's crypto API. Unlike its predecessor Cryptoloop, DM Crypt was designed to support advanced modes of operation, such as XTS, LRW and ESSIV, in order to avoid watermarking attacks. In addition to that, DM Crypt also addresses some reliability problems of Cryptoloop. Palladium and now NGSCB Next Generation Secure Computing Base is to build a control-based security system into the computing hardware, in the end only allowing a computer to boot from an authorized copy of the OS to prohibiting the user from accessing unauthorized files or running unauthorized software, promising security measure, protecting users from worms, trojans and other malware. FileVault is disk encryption feature built into Mac OS X and later, FileVault provides 128-bit AES encryption with a 256-bit key to encrypt the disk and all files located on the drive. Choose Apple menu. Click on System Preferences. Click on Security and Privacy. Click on FileVault tab. Click on Locked. Enter an administrator name and password, click on Turn on File Vault. An Intrusion Detection System IDS, is a device or software application that monitors a network or systems for malicious activity or policy violations. 
Its types range in scope from single computers to large networks. The most common classifications are Network Intrusion Detection Systems NIDS, and Host-Based Intrusion Detection Systems HIDS. Tor is free and open source software for enabling anonymous communication. The name is derived from an acronym for the original software project name, the Onion Router. OpenSSL is a software library for applications that secure communications over computer networks against eavesdropping or need to identify the party at the other end. It is widely used by Internet servers, including the majority of HTTPS websites. User Account Controls UAC, formerly known as Limited User Account Lua, specifies whether the Windows User Account Controls UAC, notify the user when programs try to make changes to the computer. BitLocker is a full-volume encryption feature included with Microsoft Windows Pro and Enterprise-only versions starting with Windows Vista. It is designed to protect data by providing encryption for entire volumes. A sandbox is a type of software testing environment that enables the isolated execution of software or programs of independent evaluation, monitoring or testing. Once sandbox is closed, all the software with all of its files and state are permanently deleted. VOIP Voice over Internet protocol is basically a telephone connection over the Internet. The data is sent digitally, using the Internet protocol IP, instead of analog telephone lines. Two-factor authentication or two-step verification is a security process in which the user provides two different authentication factors to verify themselves. CAPTCHA is an acronym for Completely Automated Public Turing Test to Tell Computers and Humans Apart. CAPTCHA systems are designed using distorted pictures of letters and numbers, something that's easy for humans to decipher. Kitten Auth, developed by programmer Ollie Warner, the Kitten Auth system presents a series of pictures of cute animals and asks the user to click on all the kittens. AES Advanced Encryption Standard The Advanced Encryption Standard developed by two Belgian cryptographers, Vincent Ryman and Joan Damon, is a symmetric block cipher chosen to protect classified information and is implemented in software and hardware throughout the world to encrypt sensitive data. New PG also known as GPG, is a command line tool allows you to encrypt and sign your data and communications, it features a versatile key management system, along with access modules for all kinds of public key directories. GPG4 Win is a Windows version of New PG featuring a context menu tool, a crypto manager, and an Outlook plugin to send and receive standard PGP MIME mails.
Differential privacy is method of retaining privacy through thoughtful adding random noise to a data that are being stored and later individual data could be analyzed without revealing any sensitive information of user. Trusted Platform Module TPM technology is designed to provide hardware-based security. A TPM chip is a secure crypto processor that is designed to carry out cryptographic operations. Chip includes multiple physical security mechanisms to make it tamper-resistant, and malicious software is unable to tamper with the security functions of the TPM. DO, DNS over HTTPS is a protocol allows browser to send DNS requests as HTTPS traffic to DO compatible DNS servers called DO resolvers and it hides DNS requests inside the normal traffic of HTTPS data. The browser will ignore DNS settings set in the operating system and use the browser set DO resolver. GDPR the General Data Protection Regulation EU 2016-679 GDPR is a regulation in EU law on data protection and privacy for all individual citizens of the European Union EU and the European Economic Area EEA. It also addresses the transfer of personal data outside the EU and EEA areas. Epsilon, or privacy loss parameter, is a variable which determines just how much specificity a data collector is willing to sacrifice